CBS News senior security contributor Michael Morell. He is a former CI deputy director. Michael, good morning. Let me begin with your assessment of these Twitter exchanges. So, Charlie, no doubt in my mind that given these Twitter exchanges, and there also appears to be some exchanges with an individual in Syria as well, that these are what inspired uh, these guys to, uh, to attempt this attack. Inspired, not directed. Inspired, not directed. Okay. And does it make a difference? Sure, I think it does. Uh, there's both a positive and negative, I think. Um, the negative is that a directed attack gives you the opportunity to do something bigger um, because you can put more individuals around it, um, you, you know, folks in a mall, for example. Um, but, the, but, the, but the positive is that a directed attack, there's communication between the leadership of the group and the terrorists. So it gives you an opportunity to, to detect the attack in advance. Now, as you know, Mike, that ISIS has claimed credit for this attack. Do you think that helps them recruit more members here and otherwhere, in other places? Well, to be um, to re to recruit folks to raise money, you have to conduct successful attacks, Gail, and this attack was not successful. And I think it's important to remember that. So I'm not sure they're going to get a lot of benefit out of taking credit for this. Mike, the U.S. has just announced that it is putting 20 million dollars in bounties on the heads of four of these ISIS leaders. Do those bounties help? Nor they sure do. Um, they generate an awful lot of information. The vast majority of that information um, is not particularly useful. But every once in a while, occasionally, you come across a piece of information that uh, makes a big difference in finding these guys. Um, and those people are compensated uh, when that happens. Why is the trail so difficult? I mean, it's interesting, this attack in Garland, Texas, because there's an electronic trail of tweeting back and forth and communications. Doesn't that make it perhaps easier to locate the source of where these leadership are and, and where they're conducting their operations from? Um, it's hard to, to, to identify the location of a tweeter if they don't want to be found. Um, but there is an awful lot of information in these tweets, and we have to start mining it. Uh, Mike, one last question. Uh, there was a piece in the New York Times today that said that France is taking steps to vastly widen domestic spying. Is that what we're going to have to end up doing? You know, Charlie, the way, um, the way people think about whether we should do this or not um, almost always depends on what just happened, right? And these attacks in Paris happened. People are, people are willing to do more. Okay. Thank you, Michael Morrell. Welcome.